Hey, 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 it's Poo Smudge here on the Poo Smudge channel, and today we're diving into the world of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now, I love a good game as much as the next person, but folks, we gotta talk about this one, okay? So, grab your virtual fishing rods and let's reel in some truth. The first issue that I have with this game, decorations without any function at all. So, first up, the decorations, or as I like to call them, the Great Island Scam. You work your tail off to get that roller coaster, right? You're thinking, uh, this is it, the big time, my island's gonna be like Disneyland, but no, it's just a fancy lawn ornament. There's zero functionality, you can't ride it, you can't even poke it. It's like, it's like buying a car that doesn't drive. What are you supposed to do with it? Just set up a lawn chair and stare at it all day? How long do you work for some of these items that cost thousands and tens of thousands of, of currency in the game and they don't do anything they just sit there guys we need more than glorified paper paperweights in this virtual land they need to improve the decorations make sure that they actual function and add a new element to this game i mean it's, it's seriously are we all just interior designers now like what happened to the fun let me know if you're also running into a decoration if you're also running a decoration museum on your island because that's all it feels like at this point all you do is just save up this currency, buy decorations, and place it randomly on your island. There's zero functionality and zero purpose of having any items. Number two, multiplayer limitations. Okay, so there's just multiplayer. Oh, the multiplayer. It's like throwing a party where everyone shows up and then they realize there's no food, there's no music, it's just awkward silence. You visit a friend's island, but what do you do? You just wander around aimlessly. Hopefully somebody's got something funny to say. Maybe wave at a butterfly, Great Island Bob. What have you done with the place? Is that a new tree? Come on, where, where's the excitement and the adventure? It's, it's more like a quiet walk in a very, very slow park. It, there's just not exciting at all. The multiplayer is very limited. It doesn't give you anything to do with any of the players that visit your island. Honestly, you could just send a screenshot of your island Send it to your friends. They'll get the idea. There's really no need to visit each other's islands or anything. There's nothing to do there. And then third, static island residents. All right, let's, let's talk about our island buddies, the residents. These guys are like the coworkers that you see every day, but you never really talk to. They just kind of exist. They wander around mumbling the same three lines. Nice weather we're having. Did you catch the bug off? I mean, give me something to work with here, guys. Can they help me dig a hole? Can they tell a joke? Anything? It's like living in a town filled with really polite ghosts. They don't do anything. They don't interact with you. They merely just exist on the island. They don't really need to be there. They don't add anything to the game. They're just kind of filler. All right, and so there you have it. That's my take on Animal Crossing New Horizons. I think it's an overrated game. I think it's way out of its price for the price. It doesn't really offer that much. I don't think it's great with multiplayer. I think they sh should just leave that out next time and invest more into single player. And, you know, but hey, what do I know? I'm just a guy who can't ride his own virtual roller coaster. What do you think? Am I on something or am I just the grumpy neighbor shaking his fist at the clouds? Let's chat in the comments sections. And if you had a good laugh or chuckle, smash the like button, subscribe, ring the bell. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip side.